Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Oh. Alright, so we're back to doing some quests. Change game muna tayo ngayon guys, ML muna tayo kasi Charat Okay Bukas may schedule na pala tayo ng ano Schedule tayo ng ML Kasama si Mike Okay, hindi ko pala na share your CO Um, I hope Ah uh, Actually alam ko na marami siguro ngayon nag PGIF Yes, most probably. Uh, but for those who are not you know, having TGIF, you can watch the live, right? Why not? It's a good time, good thing to do. You know. So many na lang ako maglaro tayo ng ano. Well, last time kasi nila, kaya ako na set up ng another screen for you to see your comments. But, right now, I can see them. So, I hope you give, you know, let's be interactive.
so frustrating. So frustrating. Am I racist? For you wanted to speak with me, mother? No. I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern Hi, about an unusual creature that was spotted Hi, in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. <laughs> you know what it was, <laughs> Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she hey, is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mantic leaf in one's mouth for an entire month then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. She claims that she has foreseen tragedy before me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. I'll show you later. I mean, if you have time, She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Was that it? Alright, I suppose that's it. So, hanap tayo ng, I suppose, kung may combat na quest. See? Itong in the shadow, Noy, itong in the shadow, kung if ever makalaro ka in the future, itong in the shadow of the mine, or in the shadow na ang start ng kanilang quests, Yan yung naga uh, or at least yan yung dark kasi na part ng story. So si yung best yung friend niya na isa si Sebastian. Um, parang nagiging nagapunta siya no ba sa, sa Slytherin. So eventually magiging masama talaga siya. Just that Kaya natin to kasi pag, usually pag ganito, marang kalaban. The nearest.
Sa dalawa na nanonood, thank you for watching. Just leave a comment if you have questions or if there's something you want me to do. Oh, my sincere gratitude. Anong kalagay? Sa live stream, hindi siya lag, no? Pero sa experience ko, lag ko sa PC. Hindi, hindi ko siya absent, so Pwede natin gamitin ang ating I thought my owl might pique your interest I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the Catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it. The way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? What shall I choose? Perhaps you can avoid detection or reveal blows. Let's, let's just avoid. Let's be we need down. to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Seems quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. Imperial! Expelliarmus! 
And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. You're getting evil, although I am the one using the curses, though. For better or for worse, we're in. <laughs> this mine looks like a tomb. It was closed the traffic by the were reported. Now I see why. I feel bad because I said dapat ano lang discreet, and yet I did all the action that I shouldn't have. So let's try another approach. I'll be quieter than a job or not. Or oh, now that I see it, meron pa lang. Meron pa lang ano. Confringo! I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. They definitely think there's something here they want. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? We got it. 
una diosa. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. No wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or with soft eyes, or tenuous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Repairer. the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Revelio. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Let's 
You're not a bad chap. For a Slytherin. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff Rebellion. quality you're so well known for. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Rebellion. I wouldn't just bring us to find a couple more room symbols. Wingardium and Leviosa. Rooms must be connected. Revelio. Try casting at them more quickly. Wasn't expecting that. Revelio. What do you have there? Rebellion. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd.
triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to... And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins Not are... all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Damn. Unbelievable. Have I unlocked all the...
gonna explain Katie Liker. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna try to. Uh, hello. Na mano ako sa ako. Like you know. Baka kasi ma mabingi kayo ba? I suppose kaya talang adjust sa mic niyo. Di ko siya estimate ang mixer. May instances na ni ba pag malapit ako sa microphone or at least the direction of the microphone. Minsan kasi ma ano na siya, masyadong malakas. But well, is that better? No. Just tell me. astral na ano kasi it's a really great quest you know is it just me or merong subtitles tell me in the comments please kung may subtitles cause I can barely see it Yeah, I think if the microphone picks up my voice, merong subtitle, especially kapag English. Yeah, see? It picks, it's picking up my voice kapag English. So, I'll just try to you know, make myself clear, louder. Kasi hindi pala siya ma-pick up, kaya pala nag- uh, wala-wala yung aking voice. So... Where is my Kestra? I'll put it on this room. Definitely not that room. So... Where is it? Ayan. I was breathing something here. And, 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 and. Where's the freaking... Oh, wait. Yo, I can rename him. Try and feed them. What is the quest about? I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Deke, you'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, 
the rarest of all beasts, that Master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can yeah. make amends for what came before. I guess the question is done, huh? Oh wait, no, no, my yeah. Let's try to identify first. Time to go on a shop. Flux weed because it's very, very expensive. But could bring up. Sayang lang kasi hindi ko masyado ma-enjoy kasi lag. Siguro kung you know, 
I have better PC. You see? Look at Hogwarts though. I, ha I could have like a better detail of what's going on. I don't point but, yeah. Since my graphics or my PC limits my ability to, to see everything in detail. Sana all. <laughs> Alright. Kapangit naman ng graphics ng cape. Uy, kabaduy. Tanggalin natin, B. You're safe. Of course I'm safe. Why there you be? are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house. Our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it. Screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidgets' feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. 
Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, oh, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs! Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Potato! Alright, I see the final quest that is golden color, the gobbledygook. Any money? I don't have any money. Or I can't see it at least. Yeah, I know. Ooh, I have 1,786 gold, but I mean at least about 3,000 to buy the one that needs for the fuck speed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> now you sleepy yarn. Hello there. What up, I'm Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. 
So I will meet you there. Revelio. Thank you for being willing to help me, Omit. You are very welcome. I'm looking forward to meeting your friend, Lord Gok. Lord Gok, uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. The more you, you know, go around Hogwarts, the more you discover about, you know, the map and its wholeness. May isa pa akong siguro curious na makita kasi I think that's near Hogwarts. Yung tomb or yung place where uh, living si Dumbledore. The one where uh, Voldemort traded. Siguro yun yung isa sa pinakagusto ko makita. Uh, High wing, go! Here's a pleasant surprise. How nice to see you, my young friend. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Repairer. Wingardium Leviosa.
A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacard, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, am um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, sir, what Lord Gok. Just Lord Gok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. All right, I shall see you soon. Door is looking at us. Expel the arms. Good friend.
Revelio. Repair. Him. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Revelio. Sneaking about, you'll see. Wait a minute. Right, don't wish to be seen, do we? you open those things hmm. that was a bugger books so rarely prepare one for reality a real goblin mine it's even grander than I had expected Revelio I cannot believe I met a goblin. Confringo! Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Rebellion. Mm. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Akio. Oh, 
I'll meet you. You'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than this. Expelliarmus! Who's that? Pity. Not quite. Not quite. You can give the seed of you, man. Get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holiday. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. I have a brother who works at Green Dots. This is enough to sit down at a desk all day. Rebellio. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I will get to the bottom Revelio. of what they've been building down here. Rebellion.
if I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more nodes around here. What could they be building? Rebellion. 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 Devil snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. Confringo!
Revelio. Incendio. Should be the last of the moment. Rebellion. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. Revelio.
moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Revelio. Revelio. We're almost out of here, our meat. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. That was a lot faster than it could have been. Um, I can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, 
with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodcock, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. that i hope you enjoyed watching so see you again on the next one i hope tomorrow but i'm not sure right so see you guys tomorrow